Hey guys, Kyle and Lindsay here with this week's fishing report. Um, we're gonna get started with um, some rockfish tips and what's going on with that bite, and, uh, and then we'll talk about some freshwater stuff. But yeah, uh, Lindsay. absolutely. So um, I talked with our good friend LJ last night. Um, he has been having a ton of success out there on that rockfish bite. Um, Lower Bay, pretty much most right. people are going out of Solomon's, um, Breezy Point, Point Lookout this time of year. Um, but really, it's more from what he was saying of a pattern than a specific right. location. Yeah. Um, and it's been different every day that he's been Absolutely. out there. Um, so there is a lot of a lot of time and work involved in finding those fish uh, because they are moving around. They Absolutely. are they are active. Um, those they kind of stage in the mouths of the rivers. Um, because they're going to go up the rivers to spawn. Right. Um, but the fluctuations in temperature and water temperature and everything um, really make a difference. Yeah, definitely. Water temperature has been affecting the bite like substantially, mm -hmm. right? So um, we definitely still have that, that early morning first light bite. And then uh, I think dependent on how strong the sun is and what the temperature does kind of after the sun hits, um, yeah. is really, really determining where the fish are going to go, right? Um, and it's kind of counterintuitive. Like, exactly. I feel like they yeah. run kind of deeper when um, we have those kind of shadier, cloudier mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. um, and then direct sunlight as well is going to actually push them deeper, the bigger fish. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, that's exactly what LJ was saying too. You know, I think we had him in here for last week's fishing report and he was saying channel edges. Right. Well, this week when he was out, the water temperature warmed up a little bit, which pushed those fish deeper. Yeah. So instead of fishing the channel edges, he was fishing more open water, deeper water. Right. Um, but if we have a colder day, a cloudier day, those fish might move back in more shallow towards those channel edges. Um, anywhere, so like from 40 feet or deeper probably. Um, but again, it's going to vary on the day and the water temperature. And, you know, like you and I were talking about, that sun comes out. Right. It can change within a few hours. Well, yeah. And uh, depending on the sun, um, you could have a, a high variance in water temperature, right? So in one area, you might see the temperature being four or five degrees cooler than um, in another area that's getting decent sun exposure. Mm -hmm. um, so that high level of variance is really, really changing kind of what the fish are doing and where they're going. So yeah. definitely pushing them deep. Um, it's definitely a deep bite right now. Yes, definitely. Um, so, you know, checking those deeper water areas, moving off the channel edges, right. maybe starting on the channel edges, but moving off, um, using your electronics to mark those fish. Um, and when you're marking suspended fish, if you're looking for those really big, I mean, gosh, I think LJ and them caught them mid 40s maybe right. even up to close to 50 inches if that's what you're looking for that catch and release trophy rockfish um you need to get down below those suspended fish those oh, yeah. big fish are definitely going to be on the bottom um so some of the things that have been working here are going to be one and a half or maybe depending on the current and wind a two ounce jig head well, and body profile too mm -hmm. i think some of these uh bigger z-man body profiles are just so yeah. buoyant that that two ounces just really brings it down yeah a that's better. a good point when you're using the z-man the elastec does right. float um which is nice but you might need a little bit of a heavier weight than if you're using a different plastic Absolutely. that doesn't have that buoyancy and, and waiting for something to sink in 40 feet of water i mean that's it's it's a really really that's a good point patience yeah. game it's you a have to make game. sure yeah. you're actually down there yeah. and not jump, jump, uh, jump the gun. But yeah, these heavier uh, jig heads with the larger profile, paddle tails and straight tails have um, both been working from yeah, what LJ absolutely. was saying. Um, and then metals too are still working. Um, seems to be more of a plastic bite this week from, right. from what LJ was saying. But still those uh, flutter spoons and then things like the little bunker metals. Yeah, I'd um, say right well. now, like these little bunkers are probably gonna outperform the spoons just because getting these down to mm -hmm. 40 plus feet is such it's a tough. challenge. Right. Um, I know some guys run like lead strips, suspend strips on the back of their, their Magnum spoons to kind of weight them down and get them down a little bit faster. Um, but getting one of these down to 40 feet is really, really, yeah, really a, a long way. Yeah, you get yeah. Two, two, three ounce metal. Is yeah, probably these just cut water a little bit better. Work a little bit better. Yeah. Um, so fresh water, kind of a similar thing going on with the water yeah. temperature, right? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, water temperature is, is definitely changing the bite uh, from day to day, right? So um, for crappie and perch specifically, mm -hmm. um, direct sunlight is pushing them under docks, uh, but it's pushing them under deep docks, um, channel edges where they have quick access to deep water. Um, but anywhere that there's a ledge, um, anywhere that there's you know deep structure, 
Um, that direct sunlight's pushing them actually deep into the structure, not out to sun mm -hmm. like you would think. Right, it um, is, yeah. And then wind and rain as well is changing the bite. Um, with some of this rain that we've been getting, even just the little um, blips of, of rain, it's dropping the water temperature down pretty mm -hmm. significantly. And it's not killing the bite, but it's changing the bite midday, right? So if you're running a pattern um, and working that pattern, it can just shut off on you. And that can be like the most frustrating thing. Yeah. So I know um, kind of the great equalizer, you know, go out with uh, some minnows, you know, yeah. and just in case, you know, your lures turn unproductive midday. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely fresh water is following kind of the same pattern. Um, and it's, it's really water temperature dependent. Yeah, there is. I mean, fishing in general obviously varies a lot, but this time of year especially, there's a lot of different Absolutely. factors that are impacting this fish. Um, pickerel, I learned a very valuable lesson this week with pickerel fishing. Check the tides. Uh, yep. We went out and didn't check the tides, and it was a dead <laughs> low tide, and that is the toughest time to fish for pickerel. That's right. Um, you really want more of like a rising tide. Um, an incoming tide is probably going to be your best bet. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but like you were saying about the minnows, when the bite is tough, minnows are always a good way to go. Um, something that, now Sammy showed me this. Didn't, I didn't catch any fish on it, but again, I blame the tide. Um, if Sammy says something works, I believe it works. <laughs> um, so these with a minnow on them. Yeah. Um, and you're actually working it almost like a paddle tail. So you're putting the minnow on and you're casting and retrieving. Yeah. Um, he's done, been doing really well with that for pickerel. And those shad darts as well. You can always tip those with Absolutely. minnows. And those yeah. do really, really well. Um, especially with some of these smaller size minnows that really do such a great job at targeting, you know, pickerel and panfish. Yeah. Um, they fit really well on some of those larger uh, mm -hmm. shad darts. So um, you can definitely do that as well. Yeah, and um, if you're fishing from shore for pickerol, minnow and door bobber. Oh yeah, Can't Absolutely. go wrong with that. Can't beat that. Um, so it is winter, the patterns are a little different, but there's a lot of good stuff going on out there. Yeah. So get out there guys, come in and see us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Thanks.